So I've been doing a lot more prototyping and uh, I've got a, I've got a mock-up of all the, um, I'm saying prototype here, yeah, these are really, <coughs> these are not going to be functional prototypes, these are really mock-ups of the panels and uh, I've got all the panels done um, I think for now, made a few changes to the layout, uh, well, I won't show you all these in great detail but here's a, this is the, uh, what is this, this is the fuel panel in the middle and also all the rotary controls for the various avionics so um, the Colesman, the OBS heading bugs, that kind of thing um, the other thing we've got here at the bottom is the um, the, the test panel um, and the real aircraft this is um, going to be down on the left hand lower console but here I've got it over on the right hand side sort of just this is going to be underneath the avionics console that I showed you earlier, GPS and uh, nav stuff. And uh, the main overhead panel, that's this one. Uh, this is basically just a whole bunch of toggle switches. So this is going to be mounted up to the right hand side overhead. Uh, I'm not quite sure whether that goes completely horizontally or it's probably on a bit of an angle, 30, 40 degree angle. Uh, Autopilot, uh, made some changes here, I took something off there, so that's uh, also, that's going to be basically in the centre, just above the yoke. Uh, uh, there you go, I won't show you everything, but um, I, I I'll, I'll lay it all out in a minute and we'll get a sense of the spatial kind of um, relationship between these things. So as I said, these are just mock-ups, these are not going, I'm not, I'm not going to wire these up as they are, they're, they're made on crappy hardboard at the moment this is um, it's really easy to you know drill and put these switches in just to get a good sense of the layout but it's a horrible material it's just uh, basically compressed paper or something I don't, I don't know messy and uh, no structural integrity but uh, and also what I've done is you'll see on here I've, I've had a sort of you know approximate go at doing some some graphics with a with a marker pen <laughs> Um, so what's next? Uh, obviously the real panels are going to be uh, constructed slightly more carefully than those and as I said earlier I'm going to use um, acrylic sheets for those so um, what I've done this afternoon, this morning rather, is I've cut the acrylic sheet into um, mostly into 30 centimetre squares so here we are uh, it wasn't too arduous to cut that, um, it's a little bit hazardous if you're not careful. I was using a Stanley knife basically, to, this is 2mm acrylic, um, so using a Stanley knife and a, a ruler and uh, t just to basically score, you know, you get quite a deep score going through it and then you can just snap it um, if you're careful. And that's given me reasonable edges, I mean I should probably really um, you know, sand these edges or file them or something. Honestly, doubt if I'm going to do that. I might do, you know, I might do that presently. But let me tell you what. Uh, so, so these are mostly, as I say, 30 centimeter squares. Let me tell you how this is going to work. Um, for the for the smaller panels, I've got some 15 by 30 centimeter uh, panels. So how this is going to work is, uh, remember these panels are going to be backlit. The idea is we take two, so for, for this is, let's imagine this is the uh, comms GPS panel. We've got two pieces of two millimeter acrylic. We're gonna make a sandwich. Obviously the backing uh, cover's still on, so you can't see through it at the minute. I'm gonna leave that on you know, as long as possible to avoid marking it up. So, you, uh, so you've got a sandwich and uh, the clever bit, is uh, using laser printer. Uh, and you use a laser printer to print the graphics uh, and the captions on transparencies. So these are the kind of things that you'd use for an overhead projector, uh, some transparencies instead of paper. Um, and if you print it negative, so that the lettering is white or clear, comes out clear on a black background, 
um, in principle, you uh, you have a very good mask um, to implement a backlit panel. And so what you do is, uh, again in principle, I haven't tried this out yet, you take the film printed, uh, sandwich it between these two pieces of acrylic, screw these together nice and firmly, and then drill the holes through, put the switches on. Uh, this is not my idea, I've got this off, you know, there's various places, various websites and blogs and so on about building panels and cockpits and this is a fairly well tried and tested technique. Uh, the only real glitch is going to be um, to get the density of black to really uh, make the panels opaque it's not sufficient to have one uh, transparency. Um, so what typically you have, I'm probably going to have to print uh, for each panel perhaps two or three transparencies, identical transparencies, have them registered very precisely. I mean if that works, um, there's no reason why it doesn't, it can't look you know, very realistic. Um, so yeah, what, the other thing I was worried about, I might have said this earlier, um, obviously this, these are two millimeter panels, two together it gives four, it's it's still slightly flexy. Um, don't forget they're not bonded together at the moment. So um, what I'm planning to do is, you know, at least put four screws, uh, perhaps five, one in the middle, um, through uh, machine screws with bolts on um, to keep it nice and firmly sandwiched. Uh, that should stiffen it up a bit. Um, but the other thing I'm going to do is uh, I can't really show you this because the, the uh, the bits of wood are quite large at the minute. Um, I've got some 20 by 50 millimeter um, just um, rough sawn timber and I'm going to use that basically as a frame around each panel on the, on the rear side um, and that should stiffen the whole thing up hopefully sufficiently that there's very little flex but uh, I can't really see any particular problem with that. Um, then of course I've got a number of issues <laughs> after that. It's quite a bit of a bit of a bit of a long haul. This um, you know the next thing is uh, I can go in two directions next. I could do the wiring and the uh, soldering and all that to, to wire the switches up and then start plugging them into the uh, controller boards. Probably won't do that next after I've made the panels. What I'll probably do next is figure out some sort of mounting structure for for putting them up. Um, a third sort of outstanding task is going to be the backlighting. Um, I mean in principle I could leave the backlighting alone and you know finish the whole thing off and be flying it and then put, add the backlighting later but you know I mean that's part of the fun of it is to is to get some nice backlighting and uh, so we have to figure out what we're going to use to to do that I was going to think about these electroluminescent pan panels which is which are pretty good you can get some 20 by 10 no 20 by 15 panels I think one 20 by 15 panel stuck behind one of these 30 centimeters square uh, panels should, you know, that should be ample lighting, but but they're really expensive. I mean, they're um, I think that's four, forty pounds or something for or thirty eight pounds for one of those. You get you know they run off AC and it comes with an inverter, twelve volt to I, I don't know what the voltages are, but um, so you can run it from a DC mains adapter, but it goes through an inverter and, and powers this um, panel. And and you know thirty eight pounds not not so bad, but um, given that I'm going to need probably you know five or six of those if I was going to do it well it's, I'd have, for some of the panels I could get the smaller um, the smaller ones but um, you know it's 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 into the hundreds of pounds really so that's probably going to be impractical. 
Uh, at the end of the day, I might end up with some sort of LED. You can get LED strips and uh, you know various other ways of doing it. So, so we'll have to see. Yeah, that's that's where we're at for now. So um, hopefully, I'll get one of those one of these panels properly constructed by the end of today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know how enthusiastic enthusiastic I am. Uh, I've got to do some Photoshop work, obviously, to create the panel layouts. That that probably actually take quite a lot of time because um, you know I've got to do it very carefully. So we're just working on the first panel. It's the uh, what is that? The centre console panel, and um, that's the design pretty much uh, finalised. That's a positive version. Uh, here it is on the computer. Uh, obviously, to print this on an acetate, we're going to need to turn it into a negative, uh, which we could do just experimentally here. So there it is. Don't know how well you can see that on the uh, video. Uh, so anyway, there you go. Our next job is to um, load up a, an acetate, print one out. Well, quick update, the laser printer absolutely sucked for doing this job. Uh, you can see various abortive uh, attempts here. That's spectacularly bad. That's with the new cartridge there. Uh, I've tried all ways to get this to work and uh, basically, uh, maybe it's just because I've got a cheap laser printer, but um, useless. Anyway, not to worry, plan B dug out this uh, old inkjet printer, HP inkjet printer from the the loft uh, made a quick foray to PC World to get some supplies, these are not genuine supplies, these are cheap uh, nasty refilled ink cartridges I think uh, and then another uh, slightly longer foray into town in search of inkjet uh, transparency film. Somewhere along the way I learned that you can't print inkjet on onto laser printer transparency because it just smudges. But I uh, got some loads of WH Smiths and net result coming up. So there's the result of uh, printing on the inkjet printer, which is absolutely phenomenal compared to the, the laser. I've printed two, they're just currently sitting here until they make, I make sure they're dry. I'm going to need two at least to get the density, I did mention the density earlier. That's pretty damn good though. You know, you could go with that, if it wasn't backlit, you could go with that as, uh, as good enough. When that's dry, I'm going to sandwich those two together between the two bits of, uh, here's my intermediate, that's my... Um, first attempt at the making up the actual panel you can't see that but I mean it's, it's quite nice it's quite gorgeous actually it's very glossy very nice uh, surface and uh, once I combine these two that's going to be absolutely stonking <laughs>